Hi folks, enjoying the angle, the junk view. Let me move forward. For now you can see the whirly gigging turns all the time now since I disconnected the heavy loaded generator. If I get a little tiny generator that thing will constantly put out something. And I'll bring you to the bicycle contraption at the center of the screen. Here we have the bicycle contraption with everything removed except for the back wheel, the derailleur, which has been affixed to the highest gear setting. And I have the shaft comes out, and I'll just spin it and you can see how it works. I spin the wheel. I've taken the buckets off because I'm about to bring it down back. But as I spin it, I don't know if you can see that, but here I'll give it a good whirl. And that light lights up. And that's a fairly good load. Let's see how it works. No laughing. Over and out. That damn thing turns all the time now that I took the belt off of it. Well, anyway, here's the wheel laying on an old-fashioned flying saucer that I ran the Tesla coil top load deal. And the putt-putt with chains. Posi track unit. See what I can't break on this trip. I already hauled the frame down. I'll show that in a second. Well, I dragged the frame and the wheel down with that little red tractor. There's the remains of the flying saucer and there's the skid marks. I'm going to set it up. Well, there's the machinery in the watershed. Anchored by rocks and such. Way up in the trees you can see the other water wheel going. Anyway, now i got to move the wheel over here. Alright, and here's some unistrut welded up in the form of bracketry. And said bracketry shall be affixed like so. With rods to keep it from popping out. And it's a welded, and then these pieces of EMT are pounded flat and bent to form a little hook to keep the center from spreading, and then it'll be hung and screwed all in and suspended. There, something like that, only hung on tripod, suspended 120 feet. Updates in a minute. Haha, -ha, no laughing. Liquid nail is being used to glue these seams together and then I'm stitching them together. So I have one long piece of tin roofing. These are 40 foot sections. Each one, I'll bring them in the woods. I've yet to connect that last one over there. Run them all together and hang them from tripods. Ha ha. We'll see. Well, there's the wheel and the frame in the stream. Water's getting less and less every week. But here's something I also want to show. This might be out of sequence, but that is 120 feet worth of tin roofing stitched together. All the way up there with glue. Now I have to hang it with tripods. I've said that before. Real briefly, update on progress. There's the little one in the background. There's the arrangement. And I've got five tripods set up so far. Those are the ones that do the dirty work and the major height up here I can maybe get away with something else, but they'll be probably baby ones. Okay. Quick shot of all of the tripods so far. Big one right here. One, two, three, four, five. Well, there we have a start. I've got two hangers and some bracketry. Uh, the clips I sh should say and I just wanted you to note how I'm bending this up 
because it's pretty thick gauge steel. So I've got that piece of angle iron with some bolts that should be beveled more, but you can kind of see that I slide it along and it folds it up and then the one in the back helps taper it closed while I put another piece of EMT on the top. Alright, I'll show you a few more in a minute. This goes fairly slow because I don't have gloves and taking my time. Well, there's a little progress. 30, 35 feet or so. There's my bending apparatus. I slide it and like I say, it forms it right up. I'm getting there. I got three tripods with a yellow cable hanging it. <laughs> More in a bit. <laughs> 